I'm going to go ahead and finish the installation of the Turner Master Cylinder Kit uh, for my 1949 Studebaker 2R5 pickup. And I've already ran the steel lines for the front disc brakes and the steel lines for the rear drum brakes. And so the last part of this process is to install or connect those brake lines to the master cylinder. I'm going to go ahead and connect the front disc brakes to my master cylinder utilizing this flexible line and residual check valve provided as part of the Turner master cylinder kit. The residual valve itself, make sure that it has the out going to your steel brake lines. And for me, my steel brake line to my front disc brakes comes out right here. And I've got it running underneath the bracket for this fuel tank. And then the other end of the flexible line will connect right here on my master cylinder. I added a protective cover for the flexible line. I found some protective wire wrap at Harper Freight. It's a quarter inch and it fits perfectly over it. And so I did that for this flexible line and also the one for my rear brakes. In addition, I found this wire clamp. It's about a three quarter inch and it actually will fit over my residual check valve. And what's really handy about that is that I can mount this to my frame right here. Now this, this 5 16 bolt is the mounting bolt for my bracket for my parking brake cable. And so I just removed the shorter bolt and put in a longer bolt. I think this is an eight inch and a quarter bolt. And now I will be able to take that, that wire wrap and mount it right here to secure my residual check valve. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And you remember, you got out, your out goes toward the brake lines. And so that has my residual check valve secured to my frame right there. It's connected to the steel brake lines going up front. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the flexible line back here. Got it started, and then I'll get it started up here on the master cylinder. So there you go. Uh, that's how the connection will look from the dual master cylinder to my steel brake lines going to my front disc brakes. What I want to do now is go ahead and connect the rear brake lines to the master cylinder. The first thing we got to do is, uh, we talked about this the other day, where this is the residual check valve connected to a junction T, connected to the proportioning valve, and then here's the stoplight switch. Uh, one change from the other day is that for this nipple right here, I had a three quarter inch long nipple, and when I mounted this earlier, I discovered that my flexible brake line was just about a half inch too short. So I went back to O'Reilly's and I got this inch and a half nipple uh, to put in here, and that made all the world of difference. So again, my, this is going to go in just like this, uh, where the proportional valve, the adjusting knob is here. And again, that spacer plate right there, that quarter inch spacer plate, was put there so that my handle here would not rub on the frame. Got the, we've got the mounting bolt, which is going to be a 5 16 mounting bolt. Uh, but I just want to remind you that I cut a 3 8 nut in half to serve as a bushing to go inside of this hole right here. And so I've got that on my 2 and a quarter inch 5 16 bolt. I'm going to slide that through there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and mount this case here. Kind of secured a little bit. And what I, what I tend to do is leave my brake lines a little loose. And that allows me to some flexibility in connecting the brake lines together. So here this system, again, the residual check valve, junction T with the stoplight switch, the adjusting proportional valve, and that's connected to my rear steel rear brake lines going to my rear drum brakes. And so that's kind of what it'll look like right there. And then the next thing we need to do 
is connect that flexible brake line from my residual check valve here uh, to my master cylinder. Okay, so the last piece in the puzzle is this flexible brake line here. Again, I covered an additional protective wire wrap, uh, but we're going to take and connect this to the residual check valve here, and then from there we're going to connect it to the dual master cylinder. So we'll go ahead and connect this residual check valve. And so there you have the flexible line for the rear brakes connecting to the residual check valve, basically connecting to the proportional valve to the rear steel brake lines. And then you have the front disc brakes connected here to this flexible line coming around, residual check valve, and then the steel brake lines to the front. And that's kind of what it looked like. I just got finished tightening it up and stuff. Hopefully uh, this will help somebody else out there. Thank you very much and bye.